Happy Wednesday, fellow furniture dorks. I'm Teresa at Rave Home Collection. And I am Melissa Murrow with Rave Home Staging. And welcome. It is our thrift haul Wednesday officially, but we're more, working more, with thrifted things. Yeah, so you've probably seen us um, thrift these in other episodes. So these are some silver trays. If you guys have watched for any length of time, you know that I am like a magpie. She's a hoarder of the silver. And I... Like if the Goodwill, I usually go to the Goodwill on San Jose. If they have silver, I've probably bought it all. Hi. <laughs> hey. It's anyway. not just her Goodwill. I feel like it's my spot, but actually they really haven't had a lot lately, but I no. know why now. Yeah. It's um, all here in the store. <laughs> and of course we thrifted from the warehouse the other day. Mm -hmm. I think I think this tray might actually be no that tray. This one. That tray is probably from the warehouse. Yeah. Okay. Um because I when I was when I was the only stager um, I loved using the silver trays on glass tables. Right. And I think they're fabulous. But my other stagers, not so much. Yeah, I just think they add a little pop of, I mean, they're old school, but they're still so pretty. Yeah. What are so, you doing? I'm just trying to get a little sticky price tag thing off of there <laughs> while, we're, while we're chatting. <laughs> so we're going to use Dixie Belle today. And um, we're using Dixie Belle cotton. Yep. And we debated if we were going to use like a slick stick or something. But I think Dixie Belle is gritty enough. Yeah. that we're gonna be good so we're gonna paint these up and then we've got some cute sayings that we cut out with our vinyl cutter mm -hmm. so if you have a cricket at home you can cut out something like you know cut out this piece and this big tray is gonna be cookies for Santa super cute Heather does all that here she mm -hmm. lines it all up on our cricket and yeah so, right so you know, um, you know, these are spaced a little high so I might have to cut them out individually and, and kind of put them together but um, so we're going to make these cute little holiday trays, which I think will be a lot of fun. And then, of course, they will be for sale here later. Yes, they will. They're but a nice little holiday. These have lovely details. I don't want to show how when you paint these up. Like, these are a little too tarnished that most people, like, it's harder to sell them. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and paint them up and show you how cute they are when right. they're painted up. And maybe you will be like me and become a fan of buying up all the tarnished well because silver. she gets the ones too that she uses like for resin pours and mm -hmm. things like they're really multifunctional yeah we've just about sold out of those i probably yeah. gonna have to i have not seen any probably gonna have to break down and make some more yeah. be all right <clears throat> like i just so much to do on all these times and one of the things i love when you do paint silver is when you distress it back you really mm. do get that beautiful silver peeking through yeah and especially with the white that's just pretty mm -hmm. it really is Super shabby chic, farmhouse-y. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I thought about the cookies and milk. We could have done a color. We could have done this tray red. But I really ultimately feel like... These are just classic kind of... It really is. Exactly. Neutral. Kind of exactly where I was going. That It really fits into just about any home decor. And because this is not going to be food safe. Right. Like, lately we've been doing, you know, showing holiday decor that is food safe. Mm -hmm. Um this is not going to be food safe so even though this is going to say you know some holiday sayings and cookies for santa you would ideally put your cookies on a plate on the yeah. tray exactly not just stack your cookies on it or like we could put some like clear cellophane maybe on top you that could and see your cookie or your and if i were being completely honest mm -hmm. i don't think that this is really going to leach into your cookies that much yeah um, yeah, and and if I wanted this as my serving tray, I probably would just it'd be fine. Yeah, I'd be fine with it. Um, but I do have to tell you that this is not food safe. Yeah, for sure. Again, I don't think it's going to poison anybody, but they'll look you know, pretty for Santa. But use it your own discretion. Yeah, leave a tub of Tupperware cookies next to this. Yeah, at least he'll <laughs> see the he'll see the effort. All right. Well, I mean, I just would put a plate. A plate and a glass, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So nice exactly. Little... It's just to kind of gather yeah. the stuff. It's not necessarily to pile all the cookies for Santa onto. That is true. And don't forget the carrot for Rudolph. Carrot for all Rudolph. That. And we will ultimately do the backs of these. I don't know if she's going to do hers now. Just so that I have a way to hold this and not get paint all over myself. I'm just going to paint the back off camera. It's, cause it's so disappointing that... Uh, <laughs> And then I have no small children at home anymore to eat. I know. Um, all these cookies. Of course, I have my 22-year-old not at home, but near. So if What's I make cookies, cookies, chances are this little hungry butt would eat them. And we have some big news today. You have news today? It's do, like she doesn't even work here. Do we have news today? <laughs> I think news. I'm going to stay under here and just... 
Well, I wasn't gonna give them the whole story, but now they oh. might not. Now they might. Oh crap! You weren't. Now, you, now I might have to. I was just going to tell them the news. Oh. I wasn't going to tell them how we arrived at the news. You notice how I'm slow. Rashonda says hi, lady. Hi, Rashonda. Hi. Thanks for watching. Please save me. Um. Yes, it's wonderful news. We can just get the whole thing and just go right to the news. Yeah, which is that was my original plan. Okay, let's but now, that. if you want to know what she's trying to slink under the table for, let's just let us know that you want to know the story. Let's just stick with the original plan. Just, so just... I wasn't going to completely throw you under the bus. Oh dear, look, let me get my heat gun so I can drive very loudly my first go. <laughs> Save for the heat gun. Oh, she did grab the loud one. one. That is the loud one, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this will definitely take a couple coats. Uh -huh. Also, trying to like talk out of that too. Mm -hmm. How'd I do? I'm good. No. Even the subject. I'm very bad at that. So before I tell you the news, how do you like my hair? Good. Did anybody notice it got done? I thought my point was Thursday, but it was Tuesday. So even better, we got to see so it on Wednesday. Got, so I got to show it to you guys. Uh -huh. Good. I have a chance. I want to hear the story. Well. <laughs> That's it. Oh, crap. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you you outed yourself, lady. I really did. I, oh, I assumed that was where you were going with that. Nope, it wasn't. Crap. I do that all the time. I get myself in so much trouble. I was going to let your shame be hidden. <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh, darn. Oh, look. It's on to us. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You get Fine. So, I'm going to take the quiet heat gun and tell you the story. So, the last few episodes, actually I don't think we actually mentioned it on the last one, but you might have heard us talking about trying to get up to our thousand subscribers on YouTube. Uh -huh. Well, I posted one of our recent videos in the Dixie Belle group and in the Miss Mustard Seed group, Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint group, asking the some of the retailers in those groups to please subscribe to our channel because we had the numbers for views. We, you have to have at least 4,000 watch hours and you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers. Well, we had more than enough um, watch hours. Yay. We were just, yay. yay. We were just short on subscribers. Uh -huh. So it's like, look, if you don't even watch, if you don't even watch on YouTube, it's totally fine. But could you just please subscribe to us so that you know we can get the subscriber count and and we had a bunch of people yesterday step up to the plate in these uh groups she's really gonna draw this one out step up to the plate in these groups and and follow us and they're like done done awesome congratulations how close are you now have you hit the mark have you hit the mark <clears throat> And then today when I came in, uh, as I as I got here, I checked and I was like, Teresa, guess what? We're only four people away. That's we have awesome. 996 subscribers on our YouTube channel. I'm like, we only need four more. Okay, who in the staff hasn't subscribed yet? Where are you going? <laughs> Teresa, where are you going, babe? So so apparently, uh, I hadn't subscribed. I just kind of looked at her and I'm like, uh, I don't know if I've subscribed. She's like, what? What? And not like only, you're on the channel. Not only had I not subscribed, but as I looked to subscribe, I had to have her help me work my phone because I'm a moron when it comes to technology. I have two emails, so technically I could subscribe twice. So I did. And then... We, yeah. were, we had two so, left. So, so, then, so then we had two left. And so we, we go out and in the break room, oh, God. Um, Heather and Jake, her son, uh, are in the break room. Who is grounded now, by the way. And, <laughs> yeah, he's what, 24? He's 22, yeah. He yeah. doesn't live with me and he's 22, but he's grounded. Yeah, I don't think he's grounded. I think he says the same thing. He might get a bonus, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, so we say, okay, guys, we need two more subscribers. Um, have either of you subscribed to our channel? And they look at us and go, of course, duh. Everybody loves a suck up. So my son looked at me, you know, he was so proud, so proud. And so he went on YouTube and he's like, see, I already subscribe. 
And at that point, we only needed one more subscriber. Yeah, somebody else uh, just randomly Somebody else on. probably from the Dixie Bell group. Mm -hmm. Which is um, cool. Which is cool. Somebody <laughs> else had subscribed in that time. So now we only needed one more subscriber. <laughs> so, so then it's like, Teresa, what about Patrick, her ought-to-be husband? To be husband, yeah. So, so I immediately texted him and said, hey, babe. Can you please save my job and go on to Rape Home Staging and subscribe to that page? And he texted like a couple minutes later and said, 1,000 subscribers. So he was our 1,000th. Thank God. Look, I don't watch YouTube. I don't know how to work all that stuff. I did, I've did. i never subscribed to anything before. But now I'm subscribed in two ways. Yes. So it was, oh, sister, I, I laughed so hard I think I peed a little bit. It was just the funniest <laughs> damn thing. <laughs> So here we are, begging for subscribers, Meanwhile. and the co-host <laughs> hasn't even subscribed. But I have now. But she has now. And thank you for all of you other folks that have helped us get to 4,000 or 1,000 1, subscribers. subscribers. Over 4,000 watch hours. Yep, we appreciate it. Teresa, it sounds like you need to be grounded, according to Rosanda. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't say that out loud. My son's still here. He'll probably come over here and agree with you. You know, you know, I know how we can ground you. How? We could ground her to painting more chairs white. <gasps> no! That would show her, wouldn't it? That's oh. punishment. And she literally just let me paint something with my favorite paint, Miss Mustard Seed, because, yeah. it, and it's a big, huge, Yeah, yesterday piece. I was I'm like, so excited. oh, Teresa will be so excited if I let her paint this in Miss Mustard Seed. Now she's going to take it away. Next up, 25 white chairs. Oh, Christ. <laughs> With all the spindles. All the spindles. spindles. All the spindles. We're showing the dozen of your hair. Thank Yay. you. I'm going to go look for chairs this week. Just, no. just, just to make sure you have to paint them. No. I'm going to make sure they have all the spindles. Oh, those are just... What was that? Who was telling us about a something that was easy for spindles? Wasn't somebody saying... Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember we were talking about a brush or something and then we tried to get well, our own Somebody said there was a, zip, a zipper brush. A something. zipper and so what, what did we decide that was? was? Kind of like similar to what we have over Yeah, there. I think it's the angle maybe. Wow. But, right. yeah, mm -hmm. I, think that's, I think that might have to be her punishment. Uh, but I the mean, good news is, we did hit a thousand subscribers. Yay! And Fair so now it. tell them what, what that means for us, aside yeah. from awesome publicity and um, being able to So be basically seen. it means that in the next few days, they will open up a community tab for us. So with the community tab, we'll be able to post behind the scenes stuff, which will be fun. It'll oh, be, it'll neat. be like an Instagram on YouTube. Okay, okay. Um, so we can post pictures and things like that, I didn't not just that. Okay. not just uh, videos. Okay. Um, oh. So we'll be able to open up a community tab and have our own little community on Instagram. Yay! And we will be able to um, do lives <laughs> on YouTube. Okay. Without the thing that makes it sound bad. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Because, uh, you know, we have that other one, but everybody complained about the sound. Yeah. Which, listening to it, I totally get it. Um, so, the sound wasn't good. So, we'll actually be able to just simply post live. Okay. Which would be great. Yeah, for sure. Um, we'll be able to offer, like, badges and um, super chats. Oh, neat. Okay. Things like that. So, that is exciting. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Fun. There's like a lot of things that it opens up for us. Nice. And yeah. I think it opens up the ability to do some more editing in the YouTube studio too. Okay. So using their editing stuff? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Using some of their editing software. Nice. So I'm very excited about that. I'm, that is just, that's I'm just thrilled cool. to see how that's all going to pan out. Oh, and the other thing it does, not that... Not that it'll be much of anything unless, you know, maybe a couple years from now we get a giant following. It allows us to monetize. Right. Um, but, you know, until you have like 50,000 subscribers, that's nothing. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, I'm just honestly, I don't get all that, but we were just talking today, actually. I, I just, I mean, Melissa's done some TikTok videos for the store and for staging. I'm just trying to figure out a way to incorporate TikTok because it's like the big thing now. I don't know. Just some fun, cute ways to give you snippets of the store, maybe. I don't know. To get these young kids to figure out 
um, what to do. But like she said too, it's a matter of time to edit and put, you know, patch things together with everything else going on. Yeah. Paint the back left. I'm gonna, I wanna let the front of mine dry a little bit because I've got a couple of thick layers of paint on there. And while I've done it with the heat gun, I just wanna let it sit a little bit. I'm afraid if I do too much at once okay. that it's gonna pull it off of there. So I just wanna let it sit and dry for a minute. So I'll paint the backs while I'm waiting for that to happen. Um, and Jessica doesn't work here anymore, unfortunately. That was my last Monday, my little meltdown. So um, I have taken over her position and I'm still debating on how or if or when I'm gonna put her position open. Right. So I think overall we are just ready for some 2021. No kidding. Yes. I'm I very mean, exciting that I, I mentor a group of stagers every Monday um, online and from all over the country. And I'm very excited that on the 23rd, we are doing a big 2021 business planning session. Oh, nice. And I can tell you, I am so ready for that myself. Yeah. Like, I'll have to do mine before that so that I can work theirs, help them work theirs out. Right. And it's like, be sure you bring your notes, be sure you bring... You know your goals that kind of thing and we're mm -hmm. gonna we're gonna go through business planning for 2021 and like 2020 has been so rough i'm just uh, <laughs> i mean in every aspect brutal. Basically. so many yeah um personally financially mm -hmm. professionally mm -hmm. um just so many changes that that were tough you know my husband moved to houston for a little while it's not a there's nothing wrong with our marriage just, <laughs> oh, excuse me. that was a paint <laughs> a business decision mm -hmm. um for his for his career and uh you know then my doing youngest a job he loves. doing a job he loves and then my youngest moved to atlanta uh -huh. um where my other daughter lives so that's good for them to be together so it's not like anything is bad bad it's, not, it's, not at it's, once. it's just a lot of emotions all at once change. by the way this yeah. tray i paid 3.99 for probably not it was probably red it was oh, probably, probably a, off it was probably 40 40 off. yeah but and again i'm gonna paint the bottom of mine when i'm done but this is still pretty warm. I'm going to put a top coat on this. We're going to use the satin finished clear coat from Dixie Belle, but that hot gun and metal obviously is going to give it some, some heat. A little bit of warmth. So I'm just giving it a sec. This would yeah, be nice with some dark glaze around the little details to yeah, go with the black um, lettering. Who am I? Who are Who you? Am I? Who are Look you? Look at her go. Glaze, talking about glaze and stuff. I'm not kind of mad at glaze right now. I know it, it did not agree with you a little but we're gonna try again I can glaze wood stuff I can glaze a table give me give me glaze on the table we're gonna try again um, gonna try I again. did a really pretty table this week with some glaze which I think the one with the I did the transfers oh the yeah, little yeah. sofa table if you didn't see it on Instagram you yep. go and look at it on Instagram yep it's posted on our Shopify page too for yeah. sale obviously I think that's a that's a, like a sofa pretty. table I think it came out pretty. really pretty yeah that turned out nice it definitely looks like a watercolor thing it does it looks like artwork you almost can't really see where the hand painting is versus where the transfers are they're just kind yeah. of all blendy and that's fun it's so nice to be able i mean i was able to do that in like an hour because of the transfers mm -hmm. so did you put them on first or did you do the i first? i did um some blending with bungalow first okay i did a couple layers of blending with bungalow um just to get a nice background okay and then i did the transfer and then i did glazes over the top okay yeah it turned into a nice pretty piece all right, I'm using a sponge and I'm being careful. I dried this, but I just, you know, it, top coat is wet, obviously, and I just want to be careful not to pull any paint back off. Um, yeah, it might do a little wet distressing, which is totally cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it gets warm. warm huh? It's a little warm. Some yeah, some warmness. Uh -huh. Warmth, warmth. Uh -huh. so these are nice little gifty items, too, actually. We were talking about making quick little gifty making tape things these are like really super easy super easy to find these things a nice cookie tray to bring to your, your holiday party that's absolutely. right you know what i've seen too done with these if you just get well any kind really if you get um like wooden candlesticks or some kind of a a middle point so that you can put one on the bottom 
and attach it with like E6000 and then one on top and you can make like layered like trays, trays. like tiered oh. trays. trays. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah, I agree. I like those too. I don't think I've done them with um, the silver trays like this, but I don't know but why you could But absolutely you could. Absolutely you yeah. could. Um, I probably would tell you to E6000 before you painted. Yeah, so you could paint it so over So you could paint book. over... Yeah, and yeah. that the adherence would be the E6000 to the silver and not to the paint. Right, right. Um, but yeah, 100% you could do I'd that. Try that. Uh, We'd have to, you'd have to find some good, even some... Uh, Look at this, we're figuring like, out next week. Like next old show, spindles right? or like something. I mean, candlesticks would be cool. Obviously, you'd, get, you'd have to have flat top and flat bottom so that you could have enough for that glue to adhere to. I'm have to go to the Goodwill or something and check Well, for... and I've, I've done in the past, and I still have some in staging, mm -hmm. actually, that I've made really pretty bowls. Okay. Um, like pedestal bowls. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where I've gotten... You, if you remember back in the day, they... Oh, I do. <laughs> they used to do casseroles and stuff like that yeah. where you'd have, like, the little propane underneath. Uh -huh. And you might still see them, like, for, you know, wedding kind of things. Little right. Chafing dishes. Little chafing dishes. And oh, yeah, with the seno. No, yeah, the sterno. Oh, sterno. I just learned that word the other day. So. Sterno are the pads that I like to okay. buy on. Um, close. Had close. The S. Yeah. Yep. But, yeah, I wouldn't, have gotten, I wouldn't have gotten that close. If you hadn't have... <laughs> and I would have never had I not just learned that word the other day. So, um, so yeah, I've taken those, the, the little pedestals. Okay. And then I've take, found silver bowls that that are big that kind of fit in there mm -hmm. or fit mostly on there and then E6000 them to it and it makes a really pretty pedestal cover. Okay, okay. Um, and then Ooh. I painted them up with chalk paint and glazed and what have you. Especially because you can find some really pretty bold details. And a lot of those pedestals have a lot of great details. Yeah. I know I've made cake plates before similar to that where mm -hmm. you just get a beautiful either plate already done, you know, pretty floral something and then you E6000 that to like a um, the ice cream glass oh, yeah. can, or yeah. the best but you can do candlesticks or whatever mm -hmm. and then you can paint the bottom a color and leave the oh, top Sunday natural glass. yeah Sunday glass they're just fun to do I did those for Easter one year just for like Easter cakes and cupcakes and things and you know those are great for birthday parties mm -hmm. or whatever and and you're not spending a ton of money yeah, you know you can a... you can easily do that on a budget yeah. If you leave them at the potluck, it's no big deal. You're only no out a big few deal. Bucks. Time That's to right. make a new one. You could also bring that and just let them keep it as a gift. When I'll do this gift. There done. you go. Look at who am I right now with yeah, the ideas? You. You're getting married, so you're getting. I whole know. I'm messing. getting all the brains. The mostest with the mostest. <laughs> That'd be fun. Ah. Yes. Yeah, so Miss Sue, yeah. you're helping out next week. I'm not here Thursday or Friday. Uh oh. So Friday, next Friday is. Furniture Friday for y'all to figure out something fun. Oh. Melissa and I have an idea for to, or for Friday, Friday. this week. This but. Week. All right. So, y'all. No. That should be all right then. I mean, you got some time. And there's, it's not like we don't have some furniture around here. Yeah, we got some furniture. Might be a piece of food that could use a slap of tape. You know what? I think you should do chairs. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, that's your punishment. Crap. I'm already working on chairs. I know. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Sis. Sue's the chair. Oh my God. I don't know what she thinks she bit off over here, but her niece mean, is getting married. They're not just like dining room wooden chairs. Oh no. I'm just gonna let Sue talk to you about that. Maybe next Friday. Is that enough time? Maybe you should Show do one on chair? Friday of next what? week. Try and we can we can Live. staple all that stuff on there. We could live that thing. Force you to have to get. Would a you like to see us try to upholster Share chairs upholster on Friday? Live. And, and again, not just a little fun seat. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. And not just I'm regular cotton little... fabric. Like fabulous, fabulous Victorian fully decked channeled regal with like, yeah, velvet fabric. Baths and seats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She, she, now, see, she's painting them gold. I told her that we should go ahead and gold leaf them. Which I'm I thought would be gorgeous, but how much of a... I've seen the way the gold leafing goes, and everything is covered in it. And it's it's yeah. like large large glitter. <laughs> it really is. And it does not... I mean, it's it stays with you, for sure. It's chippy glitter. Yeah. I mean, even if you put it in, like, the details, it'd be kind of cool, the gold leafing. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I could just do that in the little flowers up there on the edge. Uh -huh. But with that mustard yellow or fusion, I don't know how that well, would that's work. That's my base coat, so I plan on putting yeah. oh, um, okay. the gold metallics on top of that. 
like at the fusion or the moonshine. I'm I actually going to think of doing both, kind of mixing yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, uh, I was looking at the the, the heavy metals by Wise Owl. Yeah. I feel like that's got the most bling. This regal, pretty. I'm, I'm trying to get them to look as as gypsy as possible. Yeah, no, they will. Because what are they going to be? Gold and then radiant red velvet? I think or, it's going to be a red velvet. Or like a burgundy or Why something. Why do I want to suddenly start singing Cher? Gypsy Why? Queen? Oh, oh, I didn't, didn't catch that one for a second there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put one more bit of top coat on this because we are putting, they're not actually a transfer, it's the vinyl, and I just want to make sure it has good surface to adhere to. And if you're putting the actual vinyl letters on it, it's not going to be painted? Nope, these are not being used as stencils. These are actually these the are words actually that we're putting on. Yep. And then we'll have to top coat over that. Yep, so we seal all that on just like you would with a regular transfer. And I decided I wanted a third coat on mine. Um, I just didn't, like, I don't know. I just wasn't happy with two. Gotcha. Ooh, I'm just Is there such a thing as a food safe top coat? Not that I am aware of. Other than you could use hemp oil. Yeah. Um, but if you're using any kind of acrylic, polyacrylic or... Yeah. Um, any of that? I don't, I don't think so. No. No. But honestly, again, I'm going to say you can put resin on it and resin is plastic and it'll sell, tell you it's not food safe. But if you put your, if you ever put, I mean, most of the bowls and stuff that you buy at the store that you put your apples and what have you in, if you actually look at them, they say for decorative use only. Yeah, that's true. And you're eating food right out of them. And so. you're eating food right out of them. <laughs> So, like, again, I, I I wouldn't pour soup into it and eat out of it. Yeah. I certainly wouldn't stick it in the microwave oven. I would not stick it. I mean, these <laughs> yeah. are metal, first off. Yeah. So. No dishwasher, no microwave. But if your food comes in contact with it, I would not be worried about that. I just, like I said, I, I, I wouldn't put a liquid food. Right. Don't dump your cheese dip right on there. Yeah. But who would no do that fun anyway? Way. No fun too for you. Trisha, Trisha is already home and responding. She says, was just there. Nice to meet you. Love the changes <laughs> in the showroom. Thanks. Aw, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. you come next week or this Friday and we'll have a sofa seat for you. You you must be close. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you, just, you were just here, lady. Well, we appreciate y'all watching very, very much. Dueling blowers here. I feel like right. I'm so far behind that mm -hmm. I'm, nice I'm going to be, I know. I feel like I'm so far behind that you're going to just. Mm. Um, yes, please. Did you get them both done? Both two coats? Awesome. Do they look good? Yeah, they look good. Cool. I'm going to give mine a little sand first. Because I like the distress. Bet you didn't know that about me, did you? <laughs> Have you heard? Word on the street is she likes things a little distressed. Not her life, but furniture. <laughs> Although I do seem to have a distressed I mean, life sometimes. You, know. you did just hear my sob story. It's the year for it. All right, maybe. Oh, well, that's giving an extra little dry. It yeah. has been a year for it. Yay. Yay. All right. Yeah, it's all okay. It's all okay. It all, you know, everything comes out however it's supposed to come out. Exactly. And, just... and sometimes you got to go through the bad to get to the good. And sometimes you find that the worst things that you thought happened to you end up giving you things you never even knew you wanted. That's actually true. Yeah. I've been seeing all kinds of things on Facebook about this is the time of year where you need to start doing the smudging of your house. Open up all your windows. Get that sage. And, and get we, all that bad out. So I figure the new year's coming. I want to get all the bad out. We do have sell smudge sticks here. Yeah, we, so we were we saying do. that we needed to smudge the store. I'm like, well, we do sell them, so we could just at home. We, we, we could, could just actually uh, do that. Have a fun little smudge fest. <laughs> is that a word? I don't smudge know. Fest. It is now. Okay. Make Come smudge one. the store with us. Let's smudge. The smudge and it's dance party. Smudging day. <laughs> if anything, whether it does anything or not, it would just make us feel better. It really would. <laughs> If it's all psychological, that's fine. My, Who cares? my psychological needs it. Uh, my brain needs a smudge. We're, we're all fine for a um, a placebo at this point. Exactly. Just give us anything. We'll take what we can get. And this is why all the states are passing the, the, the drug policies now. <laughs> well, this was the year to put them on the ballot. 
Okay, everybody needs it. Let's, let's not kid anymore. Exactly. All right. I tried that once because I have a, I got, I got my medical certification that I could do it because I have all kinds of issues, health issues, and. And because I have a lung disease, I just started packing up my lungs. And I went, you know, that doesn't seem like a good plan. Yeah. Let's get you the edibles. Oh and I've heard they're disgusting, so I oh. haven't. Yeah, I've heard they taste really bad. <laughs> She's over there going, no. <laughs> my friends tell me they don't. <laughs> the word on the street is, <laughs> rumor has it. I haven't tried edibles. I would like to try it a little bit, but they say you can do too much quite easily with it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I you don't want to, the point of it, the point of it, at least to me, is to relieve pain, and, you know, like, I don't want to do any of that, so, God, I just, I want to relieve pain. Melissa yes, and I both suffer from great pain. deals of pain, so does Sue. Yeah. So, if I could just function with a normal brain and less pain. Well, sometimes I, I go through things and people are like, how on earth can you handle that? Thanks, Vicki. And um, mine is like, well, on an average day, I'm like at a six level pain. So that's, that's just like my average day. So oh, yeah. Oops. When I wake up in the morning, I'm probably a, a good nine because I have to move. And then by the day, by the end of the day, I'm like at a seven. But, you know, you get used to things for so long and then I don't have insurance, so. But I think this is my New Year's resolution to myself, which I'm not even going to call it that. I'm just going to say my wellness, my treating myself properly. End of the you day, first. you just make payments. So 2021 should be the year of me first. Going to get a blood panel and just see all the good stuff. And whatever has to happen has to happen. I mean, it's just money. I can't use that as an excuse not to keep myself healthy. Yeah, so. True. That's no, my I'm, plan, and if I say I, it out I have, loud. I have some of that too, I. And if Heather um, has her way, she'd turn us all vegan. Right? <laughs> Dang, I'm vegan. I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna go see an oral surgeon this year. Yeah, see, I, ha yeah, I haven't done any of that since, since I moved to Florida. And I've frankly, always, Florida insurance is bad. Well, uh, you know, for, it it's just so Like for me, I, I have, I've, I've got, I have some, teeth issues and I end up getting all these canker sores by my mouth and and really it's and you've seen how horrible it is for yeah, me. Yeah it's not it's not pleasant. it's really it's horrible and, and it's horrible. that I have teeth collapsing on the back side of my mouth. Did I just stick that in the dang you just keep talking I'm gonna mm -hmm. just mix paint with clear coat. It's uh -huh. all good. I see how it is. And and Ooh, you guys fun. need to swap your bottles around. It's kind of nice Maybe. actually. Yeah. <laughs> this is sort of nice and smooth. Why is that pretty smooth actually? And uh and I need to go and and I've just had this thing because I need to pull like four teeth out and Ew. I I've been debating it. I was like I really I have an implant already and it's like I really just don't want to do implants and and I've had the vanity issue of not having missing teeth and right now I'm kind of at the point of they're in the back I don't know if I care anymore right like <laughs> Like for yeah, the, all the pain, for all the pain I'm in, I don't, I don't think I care anymore. And like you said, especially if it's the back. I mean, hey, can I just make a note that I, I attempted to lock down this table so it wouldn't what? roll. What? Melissa's like sliding the like over here. My face with it. I don't know what's well, going on. I even on. tried to put my foot around this corner so it won't roll. What's funny is it's so subtle that we start here and then, and then Slowly Sue's, and then Sue's lap by the end of the time. I'm getting rolled out of the way. All right, I'm gonna do my back dry this again, and then I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start with my, yeah, my vinyl. I'm gonna put our brick students in here. Yeah, we're right. gonna stoppers in the front. It might be a good idea. Mm -hmm. It might be a requirement. Yeah. I mean, the rolling table is great, Mom. Oh, it is. But I didn't realize I needed to hold it in place for you. So honestly, even if you weren't putting anything on here you could do transfers they would be really lovely yeah you could do a stencil that would be really lovely mm -hmm. um but even if you weren't putting anything on i'll, I'll hold this up in a second when this dries it really looks pretty just, just like it is just like it is especially you know? with your silver's coming through yeah this dressing with the silver coming through i love that i 
do the distress mine. I'm gonna see. I might look how pretty that is. Just yeah. just in general. To see. have a little stack of books and some flowers oh, on it. Nice and warm. You see that? Oh yeah. Super it's pretty. Very nice. I like it. You should see. And it's a nice way to sort of update an old-fashioned silver tray. Bring it into the coastal 21st century. Scissors? Scissors, please. Heather advised I would probably need to cut this apart, and I think she's oh, back there in a little. Yeah. The spacing is just right. a little large, so I just got to take away some of the gaps. Can I just say there. that Heather was right about something? <sighs> Those vegans sometimes are right. Oh, she heard me. Oh, you can't hear me when I'm talking right to you, but you can hear me three freaking things down there. I don't know what those words were, but I had a moment. I'm over it now. All right, That's we got a hello, on. ladies, from, is that Tally? Reckoning? Oh, oh hi. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's warm. All right, let me give that a second. I hope I said that right. All right, so let me make sure I've got the right crap on the right crap. Okay. We, we may not be good, you know, <laughs> right, enunciation. I love trying trying new names. So this is um, basic transfer paper that, again, this was done sort of like with a really big cricket. A really big cricket. A really big cricket. You know what? I top coated this, but I have my sandy block. <coughs> These are my favorite, and I didn't know we had one. So maybe I will just stress a little bit. I bought you some. Thank you, Miss Sue. You changed the light. You bought me sandbox. My life is complete. It's like she loves you. It's like she loves me or something. I try and take care of you guys when I think about it. You do, Miss Sue. Oh, that is nice. Sue's not only our amazing real estate photographer, she's also the taker care of things. Our, our, our nurturer. I'm supervisor. I'm the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm the runner, I'm the, the tech person. <laughs> no, she is really not the tech person. <laughs> the attempted tech person. Attempted I was trying to help you out there. <laughs> if she's our tech person, we have serious <laughs> issues. We are non-technical. That's one of the worst things about Lily moving away is that she took her dang husband. Well, yes. actually, he took her technically, but... Oh, that is true. But, but he was our IT. And he can do some things from a distance. Right. <laughs> but some things, things you can't help us with from a distance. I don't know what we're going to do if something were to crash and we have to. Uh, I, I, I'm afraid to go in that room and, and touch anything computer related. We have our own server room, but <laughs> do we, we know what we're supposed to do with that? that? Yeah. Turn it off and turn it on again. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? That's, that the whole <laughs> that's my solution. <laughs> turn everything off, unplug it all, wait five minutes and plug it back in. Doesn't work on people, but whatever. <laughs> if only. <laughs> If God, that wouldn't that and be amazing? Buttons would work on people. Wouldn't yes. that be amazing? That would be so. That would not suck. Amazing. That right, would so not suck. What part of the to reset you now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm done listening to you. Reset, please. Mute. Oh, mute. Oh, yeah, oh, baby. That'd be fantastic. Just do not give me any new operating systems because I am not compatible. <laughs> <laughs> Does not compute. <laughs> what you doing, Jake? Come to the back room. Real okay, quick. that's tell everybody. I was gonna have you put your cute little face in here and say hi, but <laughs> he's grounded. Remember, I, think I told that was you. the back so, room. Yeah. Oh, I thought <laughs> <laughs> he said he was going to the back room. I thought he said he was going to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, it is in the back room. Tell the world. But I mean, I'm just like, I'm pretty sure he said the back room. Oh, sweet baby. It could Jesus. be all the same thing. Yeah, that is the back room. It is the back room. I just, I. I'm, oh my god, if you could have heard the conversation today with him there. <laughs> yeah. Did I miss something good? You did. It oh, was so, yes. You'll yeah. have to ask Jake when there's nobody listening. Poor child. <laughs> it was part of the, of course he subscribes because because of some of the things his mother says. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, what are you laughing at, Miss Sue? I remember that episode. Korean. Mm -hmm. Apparently, when somebody talks about your dangly bits and bobs, you, oh, yeah. forgot about you that. feel the need to subscribe. Well, it started out as my dog's dangly bits, and, and I don't know how we segued into... Okay, he's yeah. not here, is he? He's no, he's here. back there. I'm here. Oh, stop oh, it. it! But Heather, apparently, is still here. Oh, shit. I think we scarred sure. Heather more than anybody. Let me see if I'm... It was so funny. Heather was going to die back there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> And I just go on and on and on. She just keeps talking. And really, when you when you start and you realize, ah, oh, crap, that's not going to work out. You can't just stop. You just got. I just roll with it. 
You gotta. You just, I mean, what else can you do? I mean, I guess you could stop. It's like, oh man, that's my son sitting right there, not just another coworker. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, you kind of forget. Because we have some, we have some conversations in here. Let's just say we're all friends. Yeah, thank God. Cause and sometimes girlfriends talk about things. Tangly bits. I mean, we just do. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Hey. Or pre-wedding stuff. Peace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Heather. Oh my God! If you hear the cackling in the background, it's just the vegan back there. <laughs> you hear? She's dying. Oh. She's dying. She's she dying. She's dying. All right. Ooh, this is why people love to work here. Exactly. It's a fun environment, and you have to be crazy. That's a prerequisite. Oh yeah, for sure. We all excel in that. So I got home last night. My husband had his eyes covered. He's like, did you make much of a change? Oh, like, the hair. It's like, I made a little change. What did he think? He was like, oh, that's not a little change. <laughs> he thought it was perfectly me. Quite the change. What do you think? I love that. That's awesome. Hang on. Jakey, what do you that think? That really good. Mine so, should say deuces. Deuces. Instead of peace. Deuces. deuces. Get it? Yeah, peace out. Oh, I do that at the end of this, too. Peace out. There you go. Cute. Um, I'm going to put a top coat over this one, and I'm going to go on to the next one. Because I'm going to give this one two top coats. Okay. okay. I'm pretty much done with hers. So I'm done with mine, but I'm trying to think. It, I don't know. It's just so super elegant, like just black on? and white. Yeah, I did one, but I'm going to put another one on. Because I yeah, thought I want to make sure these are really color, sealed down. I like just the simplicity of the yeah, black and white. Yeah, I know. I love the black the and white. And I'm not, and who am I again? I don't know. That's like, I'm not, that's not me. I, I would prefer color season. to anything, but yeah, but the season is a black and white. I painted a that black is. and white damn Christmas tree. I mean, that's percent. great for a, that is really cute. For just, you know, an old silver tray. Yeah, that's all these were. And it Great feels dollar completely. Goodwill trays. Yeah, it feels completely modern. Yeah. And I love it. And the color selection does have a lot to do with that. Because it just simplifies. Heather's going to take a look at her it's handiwork nice doing vinyl. the vinyl. Thank you. Yeah, I did myself. Look. That's Gosh. so cute. It's so simple. I'm trying to drag this on because it's the only Adorbs. one I Adorbs. <laughs> She's like. Two different angles. Two, yeah. yeah, yeah. Back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We'll give it to Sue. She can do a close-up. Okay. <laughs> Here, show them my piece. So just be careful. It's a little wet. But you can hang on to the hands. <laughs> There. No, I'm just kidding. Heather did all the vinyl cutouts, and we can do we custom go. ones here. Peace. So if you like want to do your own tray, but you want to gift it to somebody, uh -huh. and you want it to have somebody's uh -huh. name on it, uh -huh. you can actually uh -huh. um, we, we can actually cut the vinyl for you. You just give us the dimensions and what you want it to say, and if you have a favorite font, and we can uh -huh. cut it for you. You you know you don't have to buy uh -huh. the whole thing. Santa you just, would love yeah, this. You can you can still do your own DIY. I love the satin finish on this too. Yeah, it's really pretty. Do your piece out again. Show Heather what you're talking about. Peace out. What? I just you know what? Show I'm very good. funny. I don't care what these young whippersnappers Mary around here Ann think. Bride. That's right. Come say hello. You're so cute. You're my like one proud possession. Possession, <laughs> not possession. That's possession. creepy. Okay. And you know what? When you left and I said, Where are you going? Mm -hmm. And she you said, everyone. I'm going to the back room. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe he said that, and was like, no, he said back room. I'm like, I, mean, I thought he said I'll go to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. Oh, I go just announced that to everybody. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was the back room. He's just going to the back room. <laughs> like that's the back. I'm your mom. You're so lucky. Oh yeah. This is the danger of working with your mother. <laughs> He's so lucky. He's an amazing employee, and fortunately, he loves his job, or else. His mother may have scared him away by now. There's pros and cons for sure. <laughs> this is the real reason his mother works in the back room. Right? <laughs> they keep me in the back away from yeah. people. We're afraid, to, we're, we're afraid to let her near too, too near working with Jake anymore. We don't want him to leave us. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the simplicity of these. The I do. And white. Yeah, I really like them. Gorgeous. Hey, Natalie says, Melissa, I have that shirt too. Oh, that's I one of the I didn't realize we had tanks back there. We only have two black ones, but I'm getting one today. I love them. I need one. We to go with get my, paint on it. To go, no, that is will that will not have paint. That is going to be for when we go out next week. Nice. With my black duster that I bought here. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
Oh, I know. Fancy, fancy. The duster's really pretty. I can't wait to wear that. She's, She's just going to put a second one. coat on. Am I supposed to dress up fancy or semi-fancy awesome. or my casual? What am I wearing? For what? Whatever we're doing next week. What are we doing next week? Uh, we're not going to say that on air. I was going to ask. I decided no. But anyway, I got the cool stuff. We got the cool clothes. I'm actually going through our leggings that we have back there. We have a beautiful selection of leggings. So I'm trying to decide if I want to get some leggings. We cannot, that we don't can, have paint on them. We cannot have the paparazzi show up. <laughs> We're so popular. We can't have all four of you show up when we are trying to have a good time. <laughs> That's right. All four of our viewers. That's right. It may change your opinion well, of us. We yeah. know Natalie can't make it. She's got her kids. That's true. <laughs> Those kids have to sleep sometime, Miss Natalie. <laughs> you may not have the same bad opinion you already have of us. Huh? Oh, they're... Oh, oh. No, I mean, it's not illegal no. or anything. Well, the song says whatever it is, she needs to be fancy. But there will, there I may, agree. there may be alcohol involved. May. <laughs> there will be alcohol involved. Yes, I'm it thinking, is. is John in town? Can he drive the bus? <laughs> John will, in fact, be in town. That was another thing I was trying to think about in my... John will, in fact, be in mind how that will all work. So we'll, we'll chat about that. Oh, I like the little chippy chippy on the end there on the, this little oh, yeah. extra chunk. What do you guys think? Love these. They are nice. Super great gift idea. You take these, you put plastic wrap over the top, you bake some cookies, you put them on there, you cover with tin foil, you give this as a gift. They have cookies, then they have this to keep from you. How great of a gift idea is that? Absolutely. And like I said, you could... You know, um, if you have a cricket, you could do somebody's name, mm -hmm. uh, you know, make it the Smiths or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you're giving them a gift when you bring your yeah, personalized gift. Yeah. Or if you're um, if you're not doing holiday parties now, but maybe like I love to give uh, um, neighbors cookies and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yep. Instead of going out and buying all those those tins that everybody throws away. Yeah, this is just more thoughtful. This is, this is a gift that they might want to keep around. And, and if you don't it. have a cricket or a silhouette, you could probably bribe Heather. Um, yeah, well, we do yeah. charge by the order yeah, or we charge, right? Yeah, we charge by the dimensions, so okay. how big it is. Um, and Heather will get it all ready for you, and it's really inexpensive, a couple bucks. Yeah, which so actually, still, looking at these, I may do some of these for Yeah, Christmas. I mean, I, th I just think they're super fun. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. This was fun. This was just, it was productive, and these are done and ready to go out on the floor. Yeah, we'll I, I, gotta, I gotta do the back. I mean, I gotta, like, seal the backs of mine. Okay. Oh, I gotta seal the back of mine, too. I haven't sealed the back of it yet. So, other than that, they're pretty much done, ready to go on the floor. Just gotta dry up. Yay! This was fun today. What'd you guys think? Give us some comments and let us know. Natalie's so brilliant. Awesome. Thank you, Miss well, Natalie. Thank you so much. All right, well, All right. I guess that we, we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. So yeah. if you are watching us on YouTube and you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to subscribe and hit I that. did. She did, twice, <laughs> twice today. Um, and uh, hit that bell so that you can be notified when we post new videos. And yep. we've been doing that pretty much, I post about four videos a week okay. on YouTube. Okay. So um, we usually have our three lives and then I try to get at least one edited video up. So even if you're watching us on Facebook, you may be missing a video because you're not seeing our edited videos gotcha. that I post on YouTube. So be sure to check us out over there. Sounds good. And we will see you again here on Friday for our Fab Friday, Furniture Fab Friday. Friday. Yep, we'll be uh, teaching you some you know, new paint techniques. Kind of. Oh, cool little piece and right there. if you've been waiting today, the Dixie Bell um, oh, mooses yeah. came in. So Great. they came in today. So they are here and available if you've been waiting because you saw the release. What can I do with a Dixie Bell Moose? Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. Ooh, we can figure something out. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't had a chance to even look at them yet or watch any videos on them. Yeah. So I will for sure be playing with that this week. Um, I think they're a lot like the waxes, okay. only lighter and fluffier to add metallic accents to pieces and nice. I may even see if we can incorporate that on Friday because okay. you know new product and all sure why not and it's a fun piece we're doing too Absolutely. so that'll be a neat little thing to do Absolutely. all right y'all well as always it's been a pleasure having you watch us we thank you all for your support without you we are not us so That's right. so much appreciate that we will see you Friday for Fab Furniture Friday have a wonderful week peace out bye guys <laughs> thanks bye everyone peace out